So I was learning Morse code and I don't really have a radio so I was trying to figure out what other function. I wanted to learn it but I'm not sure why I wanted to learn it so I decided to create a reason to need to learn it. So I created a Morse code transcriber where you can press this button and it will transcribe the button presses into alphanumeric letters so you can type messages. And the idea of this is a bit of a prototype so that in the future you might be able to do things like send friends with similar devices messages through this or send the device to your computer because how it works you can just have your hand in your pocket and be typing away a message and no one will notice. You don't need to write or type with a keyboard, you just press a button. So it's very not noticeable. This device, the M5 Stick C, it was made by the same people who made the device, the M5 Stack. And if anybody here was at Maker Fair Tokyo in 2018, uh, I did a demonstration of some programs on the M5 Stack there. It's a bit larger and it has three buttons. But I also have this one, the M5 Stick C, and it's smaller and it only has one button. So I was trying to think of a functionality for it and that's why Morse works well. So it looks like it has eight ports here. With other devices by this company, I have used wires and I've had two connected at once that report information, but you can also plug in any sort of sensor or LED. Um, on the back here, you can see all of its functionalities. There's a ground port, all sorts of ports. And um, then it has these. It has, an, this is the power button, and it has one button up here that I actually, it's a secret button. I use it for clearing the text, and then it's a blank canvas again to write something new. But again, in the future, this could be the button that sends the message to the computer, and then you can type a new message. The M5 Stick C is compatible with Arduino. That's what I use to program, is the Arduino language. And how it works is there's a variable that works as a cooldown. And every time you press a button, it sets the cooldown. That's how it tells if your button presses that you press in a row, if they're all part of the same letter, or if you've stopped and you're starting a new letter. Because some letters like E, that's just one dit, and I is dit dit. So how would you know that someone writes two E's in a row opposed to one I? So anyways, there's that timer variable that checks the time in between. And then I have two arrays. I have one array in which it's just every variable in the array is the alphabet and then the digits zero through nine. And then I have a second array in which in the same slots are the Morse equivalents of each of those letters. Um, so the letter E is dit and then nothing else, so it's one, zero, 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 zero. And then for the longer strokes, da, like T is just one long stroke, I have that represented by a two, so that would be two, zero, 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 zero. And then for things like maybe um, R, is that's dit, da, dit, so then that would be one, two, one, zero, zero. So when you press the buttons, a number is recorded, and then it translates that number into the alphanumeric alphabet through this array system, and it prints that letter. That's the gist. Um, I have the code available on my Make Project page, so if you wanna add on to this project or turn it into something new, feel free to do so.